Uh, we live. Probably forgot to change the game capture. Uh, we live. Yep. Factorio. There we go. Okay. So this is... A new sushi belt. Um, this is a redesign of the cannon system. We're not going to be using uh, crafting combinators because when we switch the recipe over uh, it throws these delivery cannon capsules out of the uh, out of the machine. And, oops, uh, there isn't actually, well, let me test something real quick. Oh, okay, you can take these out with an inserter. I wonder if you could put them back in. Nope. Will not pick this up, because this only takes it as an input. So we've got in our game a whole bunch of these sorts of things left over. A evil pla. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. With yet another hello emoji. Very nice. Um, yeah, in our game we ended up with a bunch of different delivery cannon capsule uh, specific items. And unfortunately, we have no way to automatically get rid of them. So I'm going to have to either go ahead and manually put those all in cannons to send them up to space or destroy them, which I would rather not do. I think I'll use picket dollies and just move the chests over out of the way um, and we'll build this over the same spot. Um, but I came up with some new ideas uh, with the circuit network stuff for how to make this work. Um, I figured out that if we're putting onto a sushi belt, we could have up to five types of items per train stop. Ten if you do it on both sides. Obviously, we're probably going to want LTN to deliver things for that. So what I've got over here is uh, we've got 16 different types of items in total being fed into this system. Luckily, uh, apart from making wire, copper cable, um, apart from this, Everything we need to make the delivery cannon capsules is something that the delivery cannons themselves can launch. So we may as well put that on the same belt. So that's what we're doing. Um, and typical sushi belt setup. I like to use the green wire for positive and the red wire goes to a multiply by negative one to subtract something from the belt. Uh, there's some extra circuitry here because I am also using the red wire to transmit some information from space. Uh, we're using the recipe delivery cannon capsule X uh, signals, which we already set up in our game, so that's convenient. Uh, we could use like 0 to 9 and A through Z for this or something like that. It's uh, it's quite arbitrary, but since we happen to have the crafting combinator mod and we have these signals called delivery cannon capsule, uh, recipe delivery cannon capsule, for example, explosives, um, that obviously makes a lot more sense and we're going to have we're going to have the corresponding signal for each thing that we can launch in the cannons. So we're sending signals of whatever 
types of cannon that we want to launch right now from space. We do some of the logic up there. Um, we send a signal like delivery cannon capsule explosives down this red wire. And in order to not uh, add it to our sushi belt counter, we say uh, each greater than zero output each going into the negative one counter. And we have a constant combinator linked to that that has negative a million for each uh, signal that we want to exclude. So this is all of the recipe delivery cannon capsule uh, signals. Uh, so the reason we need that is because the only way to... We, we can't actually connect circuit wire to the delivery cannon. So much like we often do with something like Coverex or an assembly machine that we can't connect to directly, we control the inserters. So when we want to launch uh, ex explosives in the cannon shells up to space, we send a signal that allows the filter inserter that picks up uh, delivery cannon capsules to put into this machine. Uh, we enable that for a moment. And the other inserter is just a filter inserter set to pick up whatever resource it is. And both of them are set to read hand contents pulse uh, because we're subtracting that from the main belt. Um, let's see. So all of these are pretty straightforward. It's just read hand contents pulse and unconditional. Um, I suppose instead of limiting this chest, I could have put green wire on this and set a, uh, set a condition. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I could change the way this works right here. Um, all of these other filter inserters are set to blacklist. And that's odd. Why has it got five things on the blacklist? There's no plastic. Oh, no, it's... Stone brick, concrete, delivery ca Oh, delivery cannon capsule. Okay, I did not think of that. Uh, I could fix it if I want to, but it doesn't actually matter. Because I just so happened to set this up so that each of these has four different types of item. But that's part of the job of these constant combinators over here. Uh, we're receiving from the green wire... Um, it's the green wire connected to these filter inserters serves two functions. Uh, read ha hand contents pulse adds an item to the counter when we put something on the sushi belt. Uh, and the inserter is also receiving a signal of all of this. Um, so they're set to set filters blacklist. So whenever something is positive on this green wire, they will not insert it into the sushi system. Uh, so initially that will mean they'll put something onto the belt and then as soon as soon as soon there's any stone brick on the sushi belt, they won't put any more. Uh, we have a little trick to alter that. But I was going to say... I sort of considered setting these up the same so that this says less than uh, zero or less than one, I guess. And we could put um, we could put our limit for delivery cannon capsules on the belt over here, but it doesn't really matter. Um, in any case these filter inserters would be receiving far too many signals. Uh, they can only deal with five at a time. So what I've done is uh, I've set up a constant combinator to connect to all of these with red wire, and it's just feeding them a negative a million of each item that we do not want it to have a filter for. I might just 
uh, demonstrate right now. Delivery cannon capsule, negative one million. And we see that that is no longer in this filter list right here. Um, it's connected to these inserters as well, because I just so happened to have two combinators set up like so, um, and realized that there was a massive overlap in which signals it wanted in each case. So the red wire goes here, the green wire goes here, it's doing the same thing. Um, it's telling these uh, stack filter inserters what not to pick up. And the way we set those is just vanilla train behavior. Read train contents, it goes straight to the um, stack filter inserters. So the way I've set it up, we've got the same constant combinator with but with four signals missing at each of these uh, stations. And you can see iron plate, copper plate, etc. goes up here, stone brick and so on over here, uh, coal, ice and uranium down here, and up here we've got heat shielding, LDS explosives and solid rocket fuel. A Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And just for the sake of it, I might just add our signal to get rid of the delivery cannon shell from all of these, which is one way to show that if we wanted to, we could have five different types of items at each of these train stations. Now I've set up LTN to request just one train load for each of these resources. Um, and we've set it up so that it won't request unless it's missing an entire train load. We could tweak that slightly, but the point is we're only going to get, uh, 40 stacks of whichever resource in each of these chests. So we're going to end up with plenty of space left over. Uh, 24 chests can hold 7.2 train loads of resources. So split between four different resources, that's uh, less than half of the, um, less than half of the chests. So that's quite safe. And this thing is exactly the same, it's just mirrored, but with different uh, resources. Um, so the green wire from the sushi belt goes to all of these filter inserters. So it can tell them exactly what not to put on the sushi belt. And finally, down here, we've got a little pulse generator set up. So, as I said, initially, um, as soon as you put something on the belt, uh, it'll have a positive signal on the green wire, and it'll be set to blacklist for all of the filter inserters. So it'll only put, I mean, all of these will activate at the same time. So if they have a stack size of three, um, that's going to be 72 items, but maybe we want a little bit more than that. So what we've got here is uh, we're going to adjust how many items the sushi belt counter thinks is on the belt. So we're going to pulse this in. A uh, pulse generator right here just makes sure that we only input this for one tick. And we're just going to go negative 100 for most things and negative 200 for the stuff that we need for uh, cannon shells. Um, and that's just set up so you can just flick this once, once the whole thing is built. 
And I think that's about it actually. So I came up with a way to store up to five different types of items in a single train stop. Ten if you count both sides, that's pretty cool. Um, that led me to realize, hey, I could really easily set up um, probably uh, probably a rail block with bots that could build everything that we could build so far. We could swap some of these out to do fluid. Uh, that wouldn't be too difficult. Or safer and easier, we could do like uh, fluid drop-offs on the outside for some of these. Because you're never going to get it mixed that way. Just have uh, like crude oil here or something like that. Instead of two different fluids on different sides. Uh, but yeah, that is a pretty nice, neat fit, actually. Um, I haven't finished playing with this, but let's blueprint it anyway. Um, so we'll get rid of the cheaty stuff. And... That should be fine. Just going to use the... Robot port for this. Uh, Rabo? Robo. Block. We'll probably edit that a bit before we end up using it, but the most of the layout is almost certainly what I'm going to be using. So I think I would like to actually set it up so that we can make a giant mall out of this and eventually get rid of our main bus base. And obviously we could put these next to each other if we want to increase uh, the throughput and build power. Okay, but for now I think we'll get back to our actual game. Oh, also I finally started putting this into practice. Um, I really recommend when you make blueprints for LTN train stops, make sure the constant combinators are switched off, uh, at least for drop-off stations. Um, you don't want LTN making requests before you're finished building, especially when it comes to something like uh, Sushi Belt. But yeah, that should be it. Let's uh, get back into the main game. And away we go. So this should be a lot more reliable uh, and probably have better throughput than the last system we built for the cannons. Oh, that's right. We were trying to make uh, uh, some more depots as well. Which should we do first? Um, that's a lot of stuff we have to move. I think I would like to procrastinate the cannons just a little bit. And let's build another depot. Uh, maybe down here? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so first I'm going to need some extra rail. Might need more train stops, but we'll see. Don't know why I've got this many instruction bots, actually. Where's my request? There it is. Uh, 
Not going to need this many inserters, I think. Oh. Okay. And probably going to need more belt. I don't know. I'm sure it's going to take a couple of trips anyway. Put the delivery cannons back for now as well. What else am I carrying that's a bit much? That seems mostly okay. LDS. Okay, cool. Got some more rail. Um, over here. Now let's just get about this much. That should be enough. Or I could be wrong. And I haven't actually put any time into designing uh, designing this new, why am I blanking on the word, depot system, but it's basically going to be what I got stuck on earlier is I couldn't find a way to cram as many as possible into this thing uh, while also making it look good and symmetrical and stuff. But that's not our goal anymore. Uh, the goal is to have... what is this? The goal is to have a bunch of depot stops with the ability to exit or enter, for that matter, at any angle. So, a bunch of depot stops in the middle here, and they can leave or enter uh, via any one of the roundabouts. Plan for today. Hey, I am Sa. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Plan for today is to build a nice depot down here, and then to... I'm almost tempted to just, to just build it somewhere else and deal with this off stream. Um, nice depot down here, and then our nice new uh, sushi-based, much better designed uh, cannon system. So for starters, uh, let's use the existing uh, depot blueprint to get a feel for how... I think we can fit quite a few of these. Let's find out. Tens Dungeon. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream? Um, okay, so... I want to get the middle of this. Here we go. And come to think of it, maybe I should have gotten the middle from all directions. Okay, that's our middle. And we need, we're going to do a four cargo wagon train depot first, obviously. Maybe we'll see if we can make this take the smaller trains as well. But I feel like it might be better just to build 
separate depots for the smaller trains. Um, yeah, they're quite small. I mean, the depot themselves. On the other hand, if we build it so that it can accommodate both, we can just spam these wherever we want. Okay, so I want... Um, unfortunately, because this is an even number of uh, locomotives and wagons, we can't make it line up exactly the same going both directions. Uh, we can get pretty close. Uh, one tile off, to be precise. And... Let's see. Just want to see how... Where the middle would be from here. Like so. If this thing is the true middle, then there's not going to be a way to actually put this in the middle in both directions. That would be upsetting. Um, unless we make this go a bit further down. Can we do that and also make sure... Okay, so let's move all of this down a tile. Output is in the way. Nope, we're fine. Okay, so let's see. Can we have the chests line up with both? I think so. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, let's do um, the chests on the left for one set of wagons and locomotives. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then on this side... Okay, cool. So there's definitely an overlap there. There's a couple of tiles... ...where we could have the... ...locomotive or cargo wagon... Uh, ...receive inputs either way. Uh, let's see. So... Can we make it symmetrical if there's only two? I guess we have we, we have it biased towards the middle or the outside. Um so how about towards the middle? Hold on. That's uh let's see, this is the locomotive, this is the cargo wagon. So it has to be, it has to be one of these three, actually. Oh, that's good. That means there's a middle. So here, 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 and here should be the cargo wag, uh, cargo wagons. And here and here should be the locomotives. Yeah, I think that's right. Locomotive, cargo, 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 locomotive. Locomotive, cargo, 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 locomotive. Perfect. Okay. This is looking good. So we're going to have uh, this nice and close to the middle, I think. Or better yet, we'll have one of them in the middle. I guess we would have to have an odd number of uh, stops if we do that. How about like this? Uh, 
But I think it's going to be possible to fit quite a lot of stations this way, actually. Maybe we could end up putting some small stations on the edges. Um, so we want maybe like this. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. Did I? Uh, I was going to say, did I actually run out of rail already? Nope, I ran out of energy. Let's pick up the bots to speed this up a little bit. They don't have to recharge that way. And... I think we're going to have a bit of excess space. That's fine, I suppose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder if it wouldn't make more sense to have the middle ones able to leave like this as well. Hmm. They're going to go to the same roundabout anyway, so... On the other hand, you could take a path out of the roundabout that doesn't go around like this. Oh, that works too. That's good. Okay, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. That's that's going to be pretty good, actually. Okay, so we'll do the same thing over here. We'll need to find room for fuel into the locomotives. And room for them to pick up, uh, to have items in their cargo wagons taken out of them. Um, can we actually make the chests symmetrical as well? If all the ones... Uh, if they all face to the outside, we can. And then... This would also go here. This is facing the outside already. Stack inserters go here. And doesn't really matter if we bottleneck. This is just to drain the occasional items that come back to the depot for some reason. Which won't be happening automatically anymore. Um, can we do it like this? I think so. That's slightly upsetting. Hmm. Maybe it would be better to use bots for this part. It actually makes a ton of sense to use bots for this. Um, although we, because of the bot attrition, we would have to supply it with bots occasionally. But we literally can just have a small train bring some directly to a roboport to accomplish that. Uh, maybe roboport goes somewhere like here. And we'll make these all active provider chests. Uh, not the chests that supply fuel, though. Um, 
And let's do an upgrade planner, actually. That's not an upgrade planner. There we go. I don't know, I don't like the idea of needing the bots for this, but on the other hand, we avoid some belt spaghetti. If we do use bots, we could just use requester chests for the fuel as well. Um, whatever the case, we're going to have... some signals like so. Chain signals going to intersections. Regular signals go to where we are allowed to stop. Um, the only trouble with this is this whole thing would have to be Hmm. We can't really put signals here properly if we have this many rails. We could remove half of the exits. The ones that go, like, in the opposite direction. That will take away from one of the main design goals I have here though which is to uh, allow the trains to leave in whichever direction they like they would still be able to leave via for example this roundabout or this roundabout that would definitely mitigate some of the effects of the traffic. I could also set the depot priorities to be higher on the outside. I, I think actually that would happen naturally because they're further away. Um, actually, we tried experimenting with the depot priorities and the trains just come back to the depot that they were sent from anyway. So I don't know how useful that is. But because the depots in the middle are further from uh, from the outside, if it didn't work like that, trains would be more inclined to stop at the outside uh, rails anyway, uh, stations that is. If we really wanted to, we could make the trains able to get to any roundabout like so. But, well, no, that shouldn't be necessary because we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So a train that stopped here could go here or here. That should be enough to pretty seriously reduce the bottlenecking on, for example, this roundabout, right? If we have like 8 or 12 trains parked here, and instead of all waiting for this roundabout, half of them can go here or here, and the other half can go here or here. That's probably enough. I hope. In any case, uh, it should be a decent first iteration of the problem, and maybe you will learn something. Um, we probably need to separate these as well. So this would go here. 
this would go here. And I feel like that looks kind of weird and messy, so why don't we just make them closer to the middle like that. Can't see if that was placed. Yes, it was. I don't think I can can't rotate it like that. Okay. So here and here, and it was the outside one, wasn't it? That makes sense. One, two. And then this goes up here. So then we want a drop-off for rocket fuel, or nuclear fuel. Um, I feel like I should have made sure... ...that we could do a small train pickup from here, but... To make sure this stays balanced, um, we would have to put a minimal amount in these chests and have a buffer system. Which, considering how slow we produce rocket fuel, is pretty reasonable, actually. Um, it's only 10 per stack as well. So we could have a few chests here, hold on to the rocket fuel, and then allow... Uh, 1.6k to be dropped in here. And it should rebalance itself pretty uh, reasonably. Well, not rebalance so much as... Okay, that's that's just rude. Uh, where's Artie? There's Artie. And let's have Artie pay them a visit. Until empty cargo. Adi is struggling to leave because the steel train has arrived. It shouldn't take too long. Okay. Should probably maybe add some signals over here just so that um, so that we break this up into fewer sectors and the trains will well now that I look at it we could definitely put this further out But I want to do it in a way that's consistent. That seems okay, actually. So the train will be able to wait here instead of back here when it's waiting for its turn to leave. Is there any reason to have this bit of rail if we're going to do it like this? I don't think there is. We could have added signals to this bit, but it seems pretty pointless. Okay, so same thing over this way. Um, I think it looks like this. And then move these signals here. Copy, paste. And go get rid of the excess rail.
Seems good. And then what? Uh, I think we have some small stations over this way. We'll have drop off for fuel from a small train. We'll have a pickup for trash from a small train. Um, we could probably do that right next to the big ones, actually. And... Uh, like that. And we'll have a couple of stations here. That should be fine. Alright, I think I'll have a bit more of a think about this one. And let's go build that uh, cannon system. First things first, I need to get all of those chests out of the way. I think I will build it up here, though. Um, I'll take advantage of the resources that have already been placed there. And here are those specific delivery cannon capsules I was talking about that cannot be automatically inserted back into uh, the cannons, unfortunately. What? So I'm just going to take all these chests and push them out of the way. What? Oh, the wire. Might take a moment. Hey, Emma. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's see where this blueprint is going to go. So we just need to push this stuff to over here, actually. I could remove the wires, but I don't really see the point. Still working on first astronomical science pack? Third day already. Yikes. Do the old double finger trick to make this go faster. Whoops. Just a few hours each day, so not 72 hours. Okay then, here I was assuming it was 72 hours straight. Managed to merge, uh, sorry, managed to secure my base yesterday. No more bite of panic, I hope. Nice. That's always a nice milestone. Okay. It's kind of like the Factorio equivalent of becoming a type 1 civilization or something. Uh, where does this fit? Here. So we need some of those chests to go a bit further to the left. This is silly. I just imagine my character literally shoving them. But it also includes designing in a way I won't need to update build layout. Machine counts should stay the same. Maybe higher tier of machine and higher tier of modules will be needed. Nice. Um, I want to get rid of all of this and all of these, actually. Oof. 
you know what? That's going to take so much work, more work than I initially realized. Let's just build this new module somewhere else. How about right up here? I definitely need to get rid of this for now. Um, okay, rail block goes here. It was never going to coincide with this bit of rail. Let's move it for now. And... What? No. We'll fix this up as soon as we can. I guess I could have moved some solar panels, but... Okay. So, rail block goes here. And blueprint goes here. Make sure those constant combinators are switched off until we are ready. And I need to connect this up. And over here as well. That should be fine. Don't need this bit just yet. Bots are getting tired. Wait, did you just change the constant combinator while it was a ghost? No. Um, I made the blueprint with the constant combinator switched off. I was just placing it and double checking that it was indeed switched off. The settings, I mean? Uh, nope. Gotcha, no worries. And let's remove that for the moment. And this. I really like this rail block system. I'm definitely going to use it in... Well, not the system itself. I've done that before. But this specific uh, rail block design I think I'll use in a future playthrough. And let's try and make sure we have a path in case a train needs to go over there. I might just test it real quick. Let's put a random item in the trash. And we should see a train head over there to pick that up in the not too distant future. I was going to say that was quick. Uh, that trash train is going to a different location.
Okay. Many jobs, much bots. And now I'm feeling the pain of not carrying three stacks of this stuff. Uh, we're probably, you know, we're going to need a lot of filter inserters. How many do we need? 194, 192 f stack filters. Okay. Whoops. Is your mall a bot mall? Uh, the new one will be, yes. Uh, so I realized that I could fit... Well, the real limit on this is actually the filter inserters, but I can definitely fit five different types of items dropped off at each side for each train stop. So this is, is ten. Uh, if we're using bots and we really want to live dangerously, we could do seven different types of items um, at each train stop. So that would be 14 per train stop. Um, if we keep it a little bit more safe, uh, I realized we could do uh, 80... Uh, Drop-offs for 80 different physical items, if we really need to here. So, this seems fine if we want to do a mole. We could probably swap some of these out for fluid drop-offs as well. And I think late game with beacons and stuff, with a block or two like this, uh, we could pretty easily replace this gigantic, sprawling main bus base that we have. Especially because... Most of the space is dedicated to producing intermediate products, which you can always externalize when you're doing a rail system. So ultimately, I would like to kind of uh, do away with this main bus base. Although I do say that every time when I'm in the rail stage. And it never quite ends up happening. Um, I might just have to put more time into it off stream. This block don't line up to the next one? Oh, you mean this up here doesn't line up? Yeah. I mean, I hadn't designed these blocks when I was building this stuff. We can get rid of that eventually, too. Okay. So, I think it's time to go back for more stuff. And recharge as soon as we get there. I remember there was a... Ooh. Rocket go burr. Nice. I remember seeing a mod a while ago that let you recharge your power armor off of the main power network, which I think is a great idea actually, although it would sort of make batteries OP. We found a new star. Nice. Uh, include stars? Wait, how do we look at it through the star map? Does it like Interstellar map. No, Calidus is where we are. Did I misread that? Ca Capellus. It's quite similar. Kind of, if you're not looking closely. So, all we know is there's a star here. I think that's the same for all of the stars at this stage, right? Because we don't have telescopes pointed at them. All right, let's head back to our new build. And away we go. I forgot the cannons. Uh, we only need 96 cannons, actually. 
I've got six cannons for each type of resource, so that's a buffer of uh, 12 stacks of each resource directly in the cannons. Um, you could reduce that number if you want to fit more resources here, but these 16 uh, recipes are the most of the main things that we would want to launch, at least for a while. But with this design, I'm pretty sure you could quite literally set it up so that in this one rail block, you deliver everything that a cannon might shoot somewhere. Um, because we can, well, for one thing, if you want to just do one type of ca one cannon for each type of resource, there's already more than enough cannons. Um, and we could actually copy this uh three more times we could have um 10 20 60 uh input items and there aren't 60 types of if you don't count like core fragments for example there there aren't 60 types of uh things that you can shoot out of a cannon Gonna need more belt, as is often the case. Probably enough just by getting another trip. And then... Yeah, I think it's just belt and cannons at this point. Oh, and I need to set this to receive... Nervous Orbit Sushi Cannon. There we go. Looking good. Actually, I might turn it off until we're ready. Uh, let's go place this rail while we're here. And back we go. One of the reasons I want to cram a bot mole into one of these blocks is so that we don't have to travel quite so far to resupply. Okay, may as well recharge. I completely forgot this build over here. It's another copy of those same... Uh, rockets that we can dynamically set the requests for. We are currently at... Oh, we're getting ready to launch green signs. Uh, I think it's only a quarter full, though. It's 100k... Yeah, 100k science per rocket. Um, but that would suggest we are completely... That's actually kind of surprising. Uh, I set this thing to ask for green signs when we drop below 5,000, but it does need to prepare 100k before we actually launch. Uh, currently in storage, uh, we will accumulate only one chest. Well, there's your problem. We should definitely set up a bigger buffer system if we want to do it like this. Or we should start doing this, but with a much bigger system like uh, science on the train bus. But I'm not too worried about it for now. Let's keep building. The main thing I want to do at the moment is just get everything we need automatically sent up to orbit uh, so we can really start expanding the science that we have to do in space. I forgot the cannons again. RIP. Okay, cannon 96. Exactly 96.
on the plus side, I'm, I was going to say I'm pretty sure everything else is built, but my bots are being weird for some reason. There's probably a couple of them lost somewhere. There's a pretty easy fix to that. Just take the personal roboports out and put them back in. All right, let's go. Of course, you will lose a bunch of energy because they store a whole lot of charge. Do the trains deliver different resources to the cannons? Yes. Uh, so the train stop in the northwest will deliver iron plate, copper plate, steel, and glass. Northeast is heat shielding, LDS, explosives, and solid rocket fuel. Uh, southeast is coal, ice, and uranium. And uh, southwest is stone, brick, concrete, plastic, and vulcanite block. One million? We're not requesting that much. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've recycled some byproducts, especially 50 plus K scrap. I've accumulated in orbit. It all went to iron ore, copper ore, and stone. It almost filled one rocket. Wow. Yeah, this isn't a LTN request. Um, these are to remove filters uh, from the filter inserters. In the case of these stack filter inserters, it's so that we don't put um, iron plate, etc. into uh, these chests. Uh, and we don't put stone brick, etc. into these chests. For the filter inserters, uh, these negative a million signals are here to remove the filters from the blacklist because these uh, uh, these are not relevant. So a lot of signals are going to arrive on this green wire. We're setting filters blacklist based on the memory cell for the sushi bus and we can only fit four fil uh, four or five filters, so um, so we're removing the ones that are irrelevant. I took a few thousands of plastic into orbit. It's still there. <laughs> Good. All right, I think we've got what we need now. Let's head over again. And while we're doing that, let's change this back to zero. Where are my bots? What? Oh, they put it in my logistic trash, didn't they? There we go. Nice. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready to turn this on. There's no reason that I have to do this right now, but I'll demonstrate. Um, so as I said, I set this up so that as soon as there's anything on the belt, uh, it's on the blacklist for these filter inserters. Um, just put this over here. Uh, so any positive value will blacklist items from being put on the sushi belt. Therefore, we're going to pulse into the memory cell negative values for how many extra uh, we want to allow onto the sushi belt for each type of item. And then... I think that's it. Some of these items we haven't got trains, uh, train stations to supply this for just yet, but that's fine. We'll get it all sorted eventually. 
I'm seeing this go red. Oh, never mind. Uh, we're not seeing a train coming here just yet. Maybe this is too low priority or all of the trains are in motion. No, this one is... Oh, this one's still trying to drop off rocket fuel. Um, I should redesign that a little bit. Or more to the point, get rid of it. Also... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, what else are we missing here? Oh my goodness. Never mouse over this thing. No train to transport. We actually need a lot more trains, it looks like. Like maybe 8 to 10. Okay. Uh, so now... There should be no harm to setting this to... Listen to this signal transmitter already. Uh, I haven't actually given these things targets yet either, so... I think we'll wait until it fills out a bit before we play with that. Um, let's go back to adding some depots. And I guess another 10 trains. Okay, so... Let's see. Is that on the wrong side? Oh, I get it. So this would go here. Well, so far we're just copying another one of these out. And like so. I think I would like to use belts actually. Make it completely self-sufficient. Okay, so we'll have a rocket fuel train from here. And I think we'll just copy these settings for now. Let's see. Request threshold 160. That should say 160 stacks. Um, that is probably why there is probably a train stuck over here. Yep. Uh, request stack threshold. 160. Go home, please. And this is why I still set it up so that trains that come back to this uh, depot get emptied. So I don't have to do anything to deal with this. Okay. Other than that, I think this is good settings. Um... I'll connect that up once we're ready. Well, I'll switch it off for now. And then... Kind of hard to see where the fuel goes. Over here. should do it. Yep. Hey, uh, Spolity. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Besides LTN, do you use other mods to enhance LTN? I've been meaning to try out, I think it's called LTN Manager. I've seen Dune using it. Um, and if nothing else, it shows you information like, um, like kind of like checking out the production view. You can see how many requests there are for, and, and like item supply satisfaction as well in the entire LTN network. Uh, that's obviously pretty useful. Like if I can bring up a little window and see that there's 500,000 more green circuits being requested than we've got available. I, I immediately know that we need to make another green circuit module. Uh, though that is definitely not the case at the moment. Um, but yeah, it, it makes it a lot easier. It, it takes the guesswork out of... Well, it's not exactly guesswork, but, you know, you end up looking around and realizing, oh, th there's no there's no green circuits here, what's going on? And then you trace it back and realize, yeah, we need more um, uh, green circuit stations. Might do it this way this time. Uh, those would be on the same side. What if we do it like this? I don't think I like that. It's not very, how you say, elegant. We don't need a massive throughput of rocket fuel, actually. So we'll just do it like this. Um... Four inserters, uh, four blue inserters don't get anywhere near using up half a blue belt, right? Outputting at full speed. Yeah, not even close. Actually, it is kind of close. And this is with a stack size of two. Huh. A little bit surprised there. Okay. Uh, we'll do this. And... I was going to say rocket fuel goes on this side, but... We want to leave it so that we could reconfigure this to do nuclear fuel later on. Or we could use, um, what is it called? Processed fuel? It's more efficient. Okay, if we're going to do it this way... Excuse me. Uh, we'll definitely want a balancer of the lane variety. But I'm wondering about... Well, we've done it before. It shouldn't be a problem, right? Let's see. We've got fuel going in and stuff going out. Uh, not necessarily going to see it fit there, but just to give some idea. I think this might be dependent on having more than two tiles up here, though. No, it should be okay. Oh, except this assumes not having the rail up here to worry about. Hmm. We could snake it all the way through. That might be a bit cringe. But it'll probably be good enough. Instead of using however many splitters, we end up having stations. Which is probably... 
I was going to say eight. Why is this nine? Oh, because we're doing the same thing on the other side, maybe. Okay. Actually, the way this fits so well up snug against this thing. Or we could just not have the extra input to the roundabout. And we could fit significantly more. Hmm. I could actually spend a lot of time designing this. Um, this is almost tempting me to use bots, considering how tricky this part's going to be. Uh, let's see, we use burner inserters for... I don't think we will still use burner inserters, but I'm going to place them just to tell me that that's for fuel. How are we going to... Honestly, I think we just don't use the splitters. We could do something like this. Why is that one missing? Oh, that makes sense, actually. Can't you just push fuel in from one side of the train and put it in the next, like some science lab layouts? Uh, only if you count on all of the trains being parked here at the same time. Is that what you're talking about? Like, move the rocket fuel from locomotive to locomotive? Yeah. LTN Manager is good for seeing your LTN network contents in a neat GUI. Can recommend. Nice. Uh, Steam Patch Bay Twitch. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Forgot about that important bit. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it's like the science labs, except if the labs keep disappearing. So then we would do... I'm just going to do blues. I think I will manage to remember that this is where the rocket fuel go. It's actually a lot neater than the previous builds. So we need to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, my love of symmetry might be too much here. Because um, there really isn't a need to have two fuel drop-offs, right? We could do fuel drop off on one side, trash pick up on the other side. That sounds pretty good to me. Um, and I think we will uh, fit as many stations as we can like this. I'm really leaning towards, because the whole point of these roundabouts is that the trains can go any direction off of them, no matter which way they go onto the roundabouts. It will take them slightly longer if they can't go either way sometimes, but I think that's probably fine. Especially considering we're building this whole thing so that the trains can empty, uh, can exit in whichever direction. Uh, that should be a regular signal. So, let's put that over there for now. Let's get rid of this. And I think... I think we tear up this at each location. At least it's nice and easy to remove. Uh, 
Oh, wait, that should be a chain signal, actually. Because it's still not actually where the train is parking. Alright, cool. That looks weird. Kind of looks like there's a bit broken or something, but it's not, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's actually fine. Okay. Uh, chain signal goes here. And that's all looking good and correct. Okay, so can we actually just cram as many of these as possible into this space and have room left over at the side to have a small train sneak in to provide fuel or to pick up trash? I think so. Yeah, this is actually looking really good. These dual direction roundabouts are so versatile. Okay, so that goes there. Um, I guess we do this as well. And a regular signal goes here. Man, that looks slick. Thank you. So we're going to be able to fit um, nine, 18 trains in this rail block. And they're going to, each one, depending on where it is, is going to be able to exit at one of two roundabouts, whichever one it wants. And they can enter or exit from whichever direction, uh, whichever direction. Goes there. And then this fits as snugly as possible, I think. Yep. That's not quite right. Regular signal. And we've got, ironically, room for an even longer train here. But I don't think we'll be doing that. How long of a train could we fit here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, possibly 12. Although, I kind of want to find out. Settings, other, not other, interface. Um, train visualization length. 12. So we'll aim a train stop over here. And one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Okay. Yeah, I thought twelve was um, pushing it. Still, uh, we could have we could have eight cargo wagons with a locomotive on either end. If we really wanted to, we could do. Like the occasional gigantic train. I don't think we'll be doing that. Long trains like that, I'm either going to use everywhere or nowhere. Okay, let's copy this to the other side. Simple as that. And I guess I'll place what rail I do have. I'm quite liking how this is going. All right, back to base for more stuff. Um, we're only requesting 10 uh, train stops at a time. Let's bump that up for the moment. Logistic train stop. 
So let's ask for 30 this time. Does the fuel filling have to be done at the depot, or can you have your own fuel station that trains go to when they need refueling? I think... I don't know if it's LTN. I remember there being uh, a mod that would have trains go for refuel only when they need to. Uh, let's see if... I think LTN might have something like that. Request... Nope, I'm not seeing it. In any case, if we bring the fuel to the depot, then the depot becomes something that we can copy-paste wherever we want, and it'll sort itself out. If we really wanted to, we could set it to bring light oil and produce the fuel on site, but we've already got like a pretty decent size uh, fuel production thing in the oil block, which we could copy paste. We're still, oh, we're actually losing oil now, but we're still not getting crude oil delivered here as quickly as we would like. Um, did I not actually add any... I I forgot to tell them to go to the depot. Okay. That'll do it. And you are... Wait, what? What? Oh, I see. Where are you going? Dropping off crude oil over there. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this monstrosity takes fluids out of the fluid trains if they somehow come back here with fluid in them, no matter which type of fluid it is, and pumps it all over to uh, this pickup over here. It is quite large and took a lot more work than expected, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, now we have like five times as many fluid trains. So that is probably going to help. Although currently all of the crude oil is getting taken to the main bus base, which is a little bit concerning, especially since we don't have productivity modules over here. Let's correct that, shall we? Um, I need module inserter to help me here. Uh, oil refinery, productivity modules, and go. We could probably stand to do the same thing for chemical plants. Uh, we know we're already bottlenecking on the actual resources available, so I'm not worried about this slowing things down. Where are you going? Oh. Oh, those weren't all my bots. Okay. This is all in the bot network, so that'll get done automatically. That's good. Uh, but yeah, we need to tap some more oil fields, which we do have some. There's uh, one here, and one here, and that is a rocket being launched. Um, so we've got one, two... I'm guessing three or four. Three, kind of, barely, not really. We've got a few oil fields we can tap without taking more territory, is what I'm getting at. I wonder how our 
uh, satellite telemetry rocket is doing. It is at 3.1k out of uh, 25,000 before it's going to auto launch. I, somehow I doubt that we've already sent some satellite telemetry up here. Yeah, no. That's going to be a minute. Because quite a long time ago, I disabled this thing and forgot. Okay. Um, so we've got one... Uh, two... somewhere here, yep. That's another oil field if I have the will to take it. A little bit more. And at this point, I wouldn't even be surprised if there was an oil field directly under my nose that I haven't remembered to tap. But it looks like that is not the case this time. Okay, let's continue building our new uh, depot. That is really looking nice. I'm quite happy with this. Don't think I need this here to mark the center anymore. I think I'm going to look for a mod where you can highlight a certain resource on the map. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Haven't produced normal space science in forever. Still have about 12k left. Yeah, the thing is I completely turned that thing off like ages ago. Like a really long time ago. Oh, my bots are tired. Uh, where are we going to put a radar? That's always important. The trouble is there's no middle location for it. Probably up here. On the left side. We can make this one located in the middle at least. fine. Okay, so how central can we make our... That's perfect. So this will be a stop for a small train. And that's going to be exactly in the middle, it looks like. We'll do six chests. That's enough for seven train loads. Maybe that's excessive. It's definitely excessive for rocket fuel. But on the other hand, we're going to have uh, potentially 18 trains stopped here. It's like everything is research under an hour, but it takes 24 hours to add new build. Yes, indeed. My only issue with space uh, exploration is that I introduce new science pack into a factory and all possible researchers run through much, much, much faster than I'm able to add more science packs. Yes. It's a little bit like that in vanilla to begin with, if you're an experienced player, but... It's way more like that in space exploration. A hey, bow arrow. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we need some power over here. And I would like to keep this looking as neat and tidy as possible, if we can. Uh, don't think we're going to be able to put the substation in a very nice spot though. Actually, that's fine. 
fun times, fun times. Yes, indeed. Uh, why don't we do a combinatorless balanced unloader? Actually, I'll add this bit of wire here. Read belt contents hold. Read hand contents hold. And everything has to be equal to zero. So that means... Seems good. Perfect. Then... Oh, I should do the tab thing and make sure I'm not typing someone else's name. There we go. I prefer that though. Farming for more science is worse, I think. I get to use the new tech faster, I suppose. Doing great, just relaxing at home. Decided to stop playing Halo Infinity. Been enjoying it? Uh, okay, so company turn. Uh, let's turn it off for now. Um, request is... If we're only going to request one... Oh wait, it's um... It's 400, isn't it? Well, this would be four train loads of small trains. How much rocket fuel do we even want to request? We're not going to go through it that quickly, right? But on the other hand, we really don't want our trains running out of fuel. So yeah, let's make it four small train loads. And that goes there. And then... Uh, we could do a little something to make sure it refuels the train that delivers it, but it'll be getting refueled at the depot anyway. Pretty good, it's keeping me entertained. I die a lot, but it's still fun. Nice. I mean, mostly. You know what I mean. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to need this to go both directions, although I'm not about to split it based on the chests. We'll have it maybe do kind of a loop. Um, we could do a balanced loader. Or we could just limit each chest to one stack. Or we could do a filter inserter that... Oh, this needs to go here as well. Uh, we could do a filter inserter. I, I kind of want to do this symmetrical, actually. I think I will do the two stations on each side. Be perfectly symmetrical. So this would go up here. We'll do the same thing on the other side, and then we don't have to worry about this having to fuel down here as well. Also, I should do a balancer. Um, I don't really think I've left enough space. Just barely not. Unless I move this down a little bit. That's way too snug. We're going to have to do it. Okay. Do I? Yeah, it's all good, mate. Wait, do you what? Wait, what? I think I missed something. We also don't need these extra power poles if we do it this way. That looks very neat. I like it. Um, hold on. Is that going to be able to pick up items. 
Uh, it's almost never going to do it if we have the output priority. It's not going to be able to pick up items. Um, we could just do this. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Don't know why I was overthinking that. Okay, I'll pick up the rest of this rail. Where is this bot going? There's a little bit of rail missing over here. Let's make sure we're not making the same mistake down this side. Or here. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I need to set some settings for this. Uh, let's see. Train. Minimum length. Maximum length. Whoops. Uh, one train at a time. Quest stack threshold is 40. And... Uh, provide stack threshold is way too many. I don't think we need to do that, actually. Uh, let's make it fairly high priority. Hey, Majagus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we'll add a little bit of circuit magic. Just set filters blacklist. I guess we could do a stack filter inserter for this, but that's just overkill in this case. Okay. So we're just going to put a little bit of rocket fuel into each of these chests. Or we could do a balanced loader, which I don't really want to do in this case. Or we could just do, like, limit to one stack. As it is, it's almost like a little bit of splitter sticking out, which we wouldn't be able to fit here. I'm okay. I hate that I don't have enough time to do my things. Cleaning my custom earplugs and 3D printing a large print. Ooh, what are you planning to print? Uh, Vista216, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's do a... Uh, the trash pickup can be here. So we need chests like so. And stack inserters. Oh, this needs to be... Well, it doesn't have to be an LTN, uh, a vanilla stop, but I like to use one just so that I can clearly see that this is not an LTN stop. Two seashells that will be in a costume for my GF. So about 18 by 18 centimeters. Sounds cool. Alright, so all we have to do for the trash train... Whoops. Is call it trash pickup and set it to enable disable anything greater than zero. And I think I just made those trains start moving. Yeah, uh, back to base, please. That's one of the dangers of using enable disable. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, also they actually don't have a path to one of those stations. Which one is it? Um, I'll have to figure that out at some point. Okay, so that is trash pickup. Uh, we will need a sub right about here. Cool. And all the chests that I've put down as purple for now, uh, we're going to want to come over here. I guess we can mirror it on the other side. Oh, I could just not bother with chests. No, I don't like that. We want to be able to empty the trains when they actually come here. Hmm. Can we do it a bit more symmetrical like? Uh, how many gaps do we have here? Well, we've got a substation right here already. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can we do like this? Oh, but then it has to reach over here. No, that'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, we only have to design it for the one side and then we copy it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, there's still... Still some sad inserters. There we go. Okay. So that is the second cargo wagon there. Yeah, we already checked this. Alright. I wonder if I should do it like this. I don't think that's going to look too good. If I do it like this, they're going to take up the same side of the belt. I shouldn't be too worried about the throughput coming out of it, as long as we can empty the train immediately. It should be fine. So, is this going to output to different sides of a belt? Nope. Even though it really should. I was hoping maybe they changed that. Can't you turn on or off a signal to box in trains if it's full? Uh, you can def you can switch on or off the regular signals, uh, but not chain signals, um, which is fine. So regular signal has a Close signal condition. You can also read the signal. Red, yellow, or green can be whatever uh, signal you want. Same goes for the chain signal, except it only outputs. Uh, it's read only. Um, but what did you have in mind for boxing? in the train if it's full. Oh, the train isn't going to leave. Um, well, it shouldn't leave anyway. Five seconds of inactivity. One chest is more than enough to empty, a, uh, to contain a cargo wagon. We do it like this. No, that's not going to work. 
We could always do this, but I don't like it. It's never going to be symmetrical. Yeah, no. I'm I'm pretty sure cuz I remember designing this before. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like it no matter what I do. So, we'll just use the one side of the belt. Oops. That should be fine. Uh, now how do we get it out of here? We could have them all go up that way as well, but that's not really the problem. I think we just have to check which side of the belt things are going to be on. And... Bring it down like this. But is that going to be different on the north facing side? Is my concern. If it can't be symmetrical, I would like to avoid it if I can. Okay, pop up plate, we need those substations, oh, careful, those go here, okay, yeah, that'll work, good, fantastic. Okay. So then we just do it like this. Do we really need a balanced loader for this? Mm, sort of. I'm still trying to come up with a combinatorless balanced loader. Uh, but from what I've seen so far, it's not really possible to make a good one. Uh, let's see. Red wire goes here. Green wire goes here. This goes... Oh, this is gonna... There could be any number of items coming through here as well, but I guess we may as well do our best to balance them as long as there's up to five... Um... Oh, each divided by six, whoops, negative six, output each, do a filter, inserter, and set filters, blacklist. That should do it. So if we're dropping, whoops, if we're dropping off these, Oh, I forgot this little detail. If we're dropping off these... We're gonna get a nice balance. And as long as there is only five types of items in these chests, uh, it will balance them. Make it one big chest. Uh, I'm unable to do that with the set of mods I'm using. 20 hour print. Wow. Test print showed promise, but now it's getting time to enable the print. Cool. Can't you turn... Oh, that's right. Um, so that's going to be our trash train. I did not consider the 
placement of oops of these. What's the neatest way I can place the substations and also have this work? I really like this layout for the substations. Um, I guess we can always move these down a little bit. Of course, then we're making trouble for ourselves trying to get the rocket fuel uh, into where it needs to be. Let's make sure we finish getting rocket fuel to our trains first. And just copy this side and bring it down here, question mark? Oh, there we go. What was I doing? Okay, I think that's right. Looks pretty... That... Oh, okay. I forgot about these. Let's try that again. Yeah, so that's all lining up correctly now. Would be interested in dedicating one short stream into a base tour? Sure. After we've both done with space exploration, I'd love to send you my save. That sounds cool. Okay. Uh, so now we know where the belts are going to be to enter the rocket fuel. I guess we could do it like this. That doesn't look great. We could also have them come up, up here and then go all the way down here. Hmm. I'm not going to be happy with either of those, so... Could do this one like so. I think I hate this less. Yeah, that, that should be fine. I already know what I will prepare for you. You'll spawn on Nalvis, planet without any resources on it. There'll just be a spaceship waiting for you. There's no resources left on Nalvis. Okay, so that goes like so. I think I like this. Oh, let's include the rail so it's easier to... Uh, substation... Hmm. I just move these down a tile. Yes, that's fine. We were going to have to do that anyway. Unless... Ah, this is okay. Okay, let's grab a couple of these at a time. And that should be all of them. And then let's grab... Make it really easy to line it up. Let's grab all of this. Flip it around. And like so. I should have checked that it wasn't trying to overwrite something here. Which it was. Express under ground belt is in the way. Oh, right. I forgot to change this earlier. Let's just remove this stuff. 
make sure we're getting rid of everything from before. Left click only, and we're good. I still have resources, but I plan to mine them all. Okay, <laughs> except oil. It will be like archaeology, exploration, remnants of civilization on Nalvis. After humans exploited the planet, they just moved on. Like locusts. Uh, I didn't bring enough blue undergrounds for this, but other than that, I am really liking this. Should I split this into a couple of rail blocks? I guess if the train stops are facing that direction, it's actually impossible for us to end up with... Um, both trains in here at the same time. So we can just leave it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Um, shall we request solid rocket fuel? Oh, and I need to actually make these depots as well. But I want to take another little inspection tour before I commit. I think this is actually it. We just need to go back and get more express underground belts. Let's do that. This will be a good way to end the stream as well. Okay. Here we got playing Factorio. King Fnurb. Let's drop in on King Fnurb after this. Uh, did I get everything? I only needed a few underneath these. Short streams next week. Uh, only a couple. Um, I've actually updated the schedule. You can see it all there. Yeah, most of them are going to be long streams. All right, let's see if this thing works. Uh, this is already set up correctly, I'm pretty sure. What was that for? We've got a train coming, fantastic. And over here... What is something else that I shouldn't be carrying? Uh, way too many train stops. Short streams, there's literally... A, I'm pretty sure there's only two next week. The rest are long streams. Or Twitch Prime. Locus need to give him more subs so he can stream more. Yeah, as soon as... Uh, as much as it may be a long shot, uh, I want to take a break anyway. So as soon as this work contract finishes, I am holding onto my savings as much as I can. And I'm going to stream as much as I can and see how that goes. This bonk is for Veldek. <laughs> okay. Uh, and not just stream, I want to put some serious time into uh, making some tutorial series and stuff. I actually thought that I, I would already have been doing that by now. Um, this uh, zombie contract just won't die. Why is this trash pickup not... Oh, we just don't have enough trash trains. Okay, that's probably fine. Rarosaur, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, two months. Much appreciated. 
Thank you all again for whenever you want to put something in the tip jar. It's always greatly appreciated. All right, let's turn this sucker on. And this down here. And then we just need to make these depots. Uh, I guess. What would be the neater spot to put this combinator? Probably right here. Depot. Could you explain your trash system at some point? Sure. No, it's really simple. I can explain it in a, a few seconds. Um, so basically, is that going to look the same down here? No, it doesn't. Let's just make it facing. Uh, I was actually overthinking the trash system for a while, and then I realized uh, vanilla is actually perfect for this. So it doesn't use LTN. It's just a regular train stop with a name trash pickup. The condition is anything has to be greater than zero, enable, disable. Um, or if you really don't want to use enable, disable, you could set the train limit based on how many items there are in here. You could do a decider combinator. Um, if anything greater than zero, output one of something. Um, but it's just connected to these chests. That's its input. If anything is greater than zero, it's enabled. And we have a train scheduled to uh, return to base and trash pick up full cargo or two seconds of inactivity. That's it. And then return to base uh, drops it off at some active provider chests. Okay. I don't know how long it's going to take LTN slash my not so great at the moment oil system to send a small train full of rocket fuel. I think I actually haven't set it up properly so that this one will accept a small train. 45 times 6 is not enough. 270. Why are we not making rocket fuel? I think you can use only one combinator for all of your depots. Uh, maybe. I haven't tried that before. I guess. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Just wire up all the lamps together. Yeah. I also don't like having the wire cross the tracks if it's not necessary. Um, may maybe we'll try it at some point. Uh, for now, I do need to wrap up the stream for today. So let's copy this and wonder why we can't Place that. There we go. And now we're going to need a whole lot more trains. Um, and we definitely don't need purple chests over here. A Zonix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I thought most of his systems were pretty good. Which one is trash? Ouch. Thanks for the stream. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Uh, tomorrow, back to long streams for a couple of days. And then another short... It's all posted on the schedule, if you want to check that. Um, I've posted it up to include the whole next week. Thank you for the yays. I am so. Uh, also, maybe we should name these stations Depot. Just a thought. 
did that get all of them? Nope. Pretty weak yay train, but it will do. It will do. Yes, indeed. I mean, I'd hate to have to cut off a yay train because it's time to um, raid uh, Kingfner. All right, that should do it. That won't leave anything half done when I come back to this. Now I just need to name those other stations correctly and add a whole lot of trains. Bonk train sounds? What? Oh, that sounds scary, actually. All right, let me just check. All right, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the blueprints and the Discord if you're interested. If you have questions or requests, by all means, let me know. Let's start a bonk train. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, let's drop in on King Fnob. Take care, guys. See you, Veldek, or so, Emo. Oh. Help, help, I'm being repressed. Uh I hope he's starting soon. All right, take care guys.